I remember once the Muslim they want, they decided to refute me and they gathered like a bunch of them to make one video uh, in the name of all of them, you know. Uh, and they said that the hadith is not talking about uh, reading, he was talking about reciting. So the angel was saying to him, recite, and he said, I cannot recite. And that will make it more stupid because anyone can recite, and he just did. I mean, <laughs> he just said to you, recite, and you say it, you, you repeat saying the word recite, so you can recite. This, you, you just repeated what he said. Uh, let us see, uh, where is the hadith here? Uh, yeah, I just see this one. This one, I think we should find it. This alone, if you want to argue with a Muhammadan about it, is enough to prove Muhammad to be a false person. I think there is something wrong with this website today. I don't know. I don't see. I don't see it. I mean, I even put the same exact word. Still, I cannot see. Let us see again. There is something wrong for sure with this website. That's never happened before. I mean, I know the Hayat word by word, and I type it still. I don't find it. There is something wrong with their search engine. Yeah, there is something wrong, obviously. No way. <clears throat> Let us see. I will use an, an Arabic website and use Google Translation. What we can do. I will do one more try and see this one in the English to save us from okay yeah here we are getting closer thank God okay well we saw only part of the Hayat let us read it in this one here it says <clears throat> uh, this is speaking supposedly the first time Muhammad he starts seeing visions or seeing things in front of his eyes so he said here and here you notice by the way how the story changed in the hate which we know he came to him in the cave he was praying and he was not sleep but here it says that when he was asleep, he came to him. It was in a form of a true dream. So it was a dream, it was not real. But in the other story, it was real, and the guy, he squeezed him. And this is why you see Muhammad, he can't even repeat the same story, uh, uh, you know, correctly twice. Because either this is a dream, or this is not. And then you will see that Muhammad supposedly after he is being squeezed, he came back to his wife and he said to her, cover me, cover me. And he was uh, shaking and even he slept and he made a noise. Uh, he snored like a camel, as the hadith says, not me. I'm not making fun. That's why it says. Here you notice here, the story changed. Remember the first one we showed you, it says uh, uh, in the dream, in the form of a dream. But here it says, he heard a sound from the sky. And he saw a chair. 
and on the chair that was the angel supposedly which is very weird i mean that why why the why the uh, why the angel he have a throne so uh, here it says uh, revelation narrated while he was while while i was walking i heard a voice from the sky and raising my head i saw an angel who had come to me to me in hara sitting on the throne between the heaven and the and the earth i was in terror striking i was a terror striking on that account and came back to my family and i said here you notice the story is different there's no squeezing they did not talk to him he just saw the angel on the sky why the angel is appearing in the sky and how the angel can appear you know in a small town of muhammad yet nobody see him except muhammad uh, warp me or warp me so they warp me and uh, and the blessed and most exalt Allah sent down to you who you, sh you shrouded arise and deliver warning so after he went home and he received he he, uh, he was terrified and etc he received inspiration from Allah and Allah told him get up and start warning those people but you will notice here in the in the in the hadith it says even the Muslims they are trying uh, uh, to make it look nicer it says and deflimt deflimt mean idols so Muhammad obviously in this hadith and even in the Quran because this is a verse in the Quran now he was worshiping idols so he is saying to him get up clean yourself and stay away and don't get, get close any any anymore to the uh, to the pig uh, to the pagan idols uh, so muhammad obviously he was praying to the idols all the time let me see if we have anybody in uh, discord do we have any muslim in discord maybe we don't have any all right looks like not any yet Any Muslim would like to join us? If you are a Muslim, you like to join us, please let me know <clears throat> and we will let you talk. Uh, let me see the comment in Rambo. All right. Christian Prince debate the Jew who was denying Jesus in the chat. Uh, well, a Jew he can de he can deny as he wish. But I say to him, it's I feel sorry for you. You are still wait waiting for the Messiah, as the Old Testament said, and he will come to Jerusalem in a donkey. And as I know right now, if somebody go in inside Jerusalem with a donkey, the donkey will be. Uh, uh, will, will be taken by the police and the person who enter with the donkey he will pay fine so if the Jews are still waiting for the, their Messiah to come in the top of a donkey uh, entering Jerusalem well they have to change the policy you know uh, otherwise their Messiah is going to be have to is going to have a fine and he's going to be arrested because he's not allowed to enter with donkey into Jerusalem not even for tourism purpose you know so the Jews who they are waiting for the Messiah until now, in based in the Old Testament, they are very weird, you know. Even their their book make fun of them. All right, let us see if we have any Muslim would like to speak to us. We have Mr. Rob. His name is Terror. Let us see if we can invite him. You want to join us, Mr. Rob? Mr. Terror, you want to you want to join us? how we can let him talk I see how hey we... hello all right Rob how are you doing my friend I'm doing very good how are you CP I'm fine so you are a Muslim right yeah 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 all right what do you think about what we are saying in the, about the hadith it says there's a verse there's a verse in the Quran it says <laughs> Ayyuhal Mudathir, 
you know i don't know if you know it okay so uh, what uh, mm. what what religious mean religious is referring to the idols as the early muslims explained all right so it's commanding muhammad uh -huh. uh -huh. to avoid the idols essentially so he was not avoiding the idol before um no he was a polytheist part of his people and then allah commanded him to stop uh, worshiping the idols in conjunction to his message the early muslims didn't so, have a problem so why uh, so how allah so how allah he chose uh, someone he is a polytheist to be his prophet he is a polytheist until that moment well it's not impossible because you know there's a verses in the quran which says mm -hmm. there's other prophets in the quran such as yunus which says subhanaka rabbi and so on and so forth you know the early muslims didn't have a problem with uh prophets being polytheists or sinners and whatnot. But the conjunction here is, as Ibn Taymiyyah said, for example, that uh, Allah does not leave them upon misguidance and actually corrects them as they go. So, you know, it is not logically impossible for the prophet to have not been a, you know, complete devout monotheist and have made mistakes throughout uh, uh, his prophet. I will go with you. But, you know, isn't it the Quran says that uh, the one who Allah misguided, no guidance for him. So who is the one who misguided Muhammad? Yeah, this is uh, in relation to Qadr. Uh, essentially so, how it but works. Who is the one who, mm -hmm. who is the one who misguided Muhammad before before this point and made him believe okay, in yeah, the in so the this pagan is about God. Other, right? There's primary causation and there's secondary causation. Okay, so, so how this works is that okay, okay uh, in Allah's uh, eternal knowledge, there's something called Al Qalam. He wrote the decree of what will happen in the future. And this decree is based on what the actions of the people have done. Uh, throughout uh, the whole course of human history. Essentially, when Muhammad, for example, he committed uh, uh, polytheism, sins, and also the, the other prophets, so on and so forth, this was recorded in al al Mahfud. And the al Mahfud is a record of all that will happen. And so, you know, Allah would be a primary cause for the guidance of misguidance. But uh, this is in conjunction of the taysir in which the secondary cause is... Uh, uh, committing sins and thus uh, persisting on either guidance or misguidance. Okay, so but it uh, but but the uh, lawh al mahfuz is not only about information is written there; it's about destiny, which means it's your God. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, yeah. Information is. Yeah, but why Allah He made a destiny for Muhammad to worship idols? I mean, what the point? Why yeah, He no, made him? Huh? So the uh, lawh al mahfuz, what it does is records all eternal future events, right? So anything that Allah knows in His eternal knowledge that will happen, this is recorded in the lawh. So it is not a causal force of uh, events regarding the uh, conjunction of what happened in earth, in the earth, right? So for example, no, Allah in His no, eternal destiny, knowledge. That, uh, hold on, destiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destiny can I, can is I not finish? is not a record. Yeah, destiny is not a record only. It is your God. He decides for you. Correct. Uh, no, um, in Islam, see, there are two, four aspects of Qadr. There's Alam, there is Kitaba, uh -huh. and there's Khalq, which is referring to the creation of uh, uh, the creation of the actions of the people. And then there's uh, what is it? Alam, Kitaba, uh, Khalq, and Mashia, will, right? Mm. Well, all, will all is, of them actually, uh, in, in fact, all of those is one uh, one thing. But the Muslim they try to make philosophy out of it. But in the end of the day, no, it's no, one no. thing. They it's one thing. They're part of... No, no, listen, listen. So Qadr is made of for the, these four aspects. You can't like deny one of these aspects and, uh, you know, be a Muslim because that's becoming a Qadri, essentially. You know who the Qadri are, of course, right? No, t t teach me. Go ahead. Okay, the Qadri are a sect of deviants, according to traditionalist uh, Islamic theology, hmm. which denied aspects of Qadr. So, for example, they've denied the foreknowledge of Allah, that Allah knows all future events. And some of them denied the, the khalq of Allah, that Allah creates uh, the actions. Mm. Uh, the Ash'ira, they also believe in occasionalism, in which okay. Allah directly causes the action. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so on and so forth. So, but, these but four that, aspects but of Allah... But, uh, uh, but how come they are wrong? They are right. Your God, Allah, do not know the future. Do He knew? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a heretical view in... Uh, Orthodox theology. But, no, 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 uh, you know, no, this is true. This is true. As an example, if we go in the Quran right now, if you remember in the chapter of Al-Anfal, uh, you know, it says uh, Allah, he gave uh, a certain number, like 100 of you can fight uh, 1,000, correct? Yeah, yeah, I know the verse. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is talking about uh, relative taqdeer. What so relative? This is not relative. It says, وَعَلِمَا وَالْآنَ عَلِمَا الْآنَ yeah, well, and Alim, I'll, uh -huh. I'll explain it. And the no problem. Mudafan. So now Allah, He just found yeah, yeah, out yeah. that uh, uh, you know uh, you you have a weakness. So now He abrogated the number. So if Allah He knew, uh, you know, if He knew that you are weak, 
Well, he will not ask you uh, to fight 10 yeah, when you cannot fight right 10. Now. Yeah? Yeah, so, yeah, essentially this relates to relative taqdeer. Uh, what that means is that walana alima is related, uh, is a relative to the environment of uh, the people at the time, right? So it is not speaking of the taqdeer in his eternal knowledge. It is talking about relative taqdeer. Is so Allah, example, is Allah, is Allah, Allah knowledge is separated? Allah. Is Allah knowledge is separated? Like there's a stages of Allah knowledge? No, there's, uh, as I said, there's absolute knowledge and there's relative knowledge. There's so, now, so who is the one who decides this is not absolute knowledge? Is that because he failed to prove that he no, had no, no, knowledge? Friend, so now we try to justify. It's not about whoever decides, right? Because right now what we have are relative events. Do you understand what uh, relative, what relative events are? Is, is it, when Allah, he said, when Allah, he says, 10 of you, like uh, 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 one of you can fight 10. Do, yes. al, do Allah, he, is that relative to? Um, yeah, it's relative to the person who's fighting. It's not no, relative no, to the absolute No, no, no. Okay, hold on. Let us say it's relative <laughs> to... Okay, let us go with okay, this. Yeah. I will go with you. So if I am God and I say to you, you specifically by name, you okay. uh, can fight 10. But it is you, the same person I say to you, but you know what? I just found out that you cannot fight 10, so one can fight two. So how was speaking to the same people in the same time? This is the same same event. No, so, um, yeah, when you're, okay, so there's another verse in the Quran. This is the same, it's related to this. I'll explain it to you so it's much easier, right? Hmm. Yeah, I get what you're saying on the apparent meaning. It, uh, someone might get the impression of that, right? However, if you look at the, uh, the so verse. So you are a right, person who believes in there's apparent? Are you, are you, are you from uh, Botanian? No, dude, there's there's a difference between botany. Well, and you are the one who says apparent. Right? You are the yeah, one who says apparent. Is, no, no, no. You're talking about Zahiris now. I don't know if you're conflating between Zahiris and uh, There is botany. Zahiri and botany. So which one is you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, this is not botany, my friend. Okay, there's not, this is not Sufi mysticism. There's, so, this is not yeah, but you are, you are the one who said to me, it appeared to you, it, it looked like this, but it means something else. <laughs> Listen, listen. The Quran it says uh, there's ayat that are muhkamat and mutashabihat, right? Ah, so, so now we have means, okay. Now we have to go to zero. It says Allah told us nobody can understand Allah. So now, but this is a clear. This is about numbers. This is about the pure mathematics. One yeah, can my fight friend, ten. Nobody's saying it's unclear. I'm saying that there's a theological implication in what you're saying, right? So either the implication is correct or it's wrong because a verse in its apparent could lead to few uh, meanings. Few possible meanings, right? There's no but, other meaning. Uh, you know, the apparent of it is not necessarily what uh, the first meaning. What necessarily? For example, is, there's the options says, now. I'll give you an example. Let me give you an example. Okay. okay? Allah kharku kulli shay. Does that mean Allah creates Himself? If I tell you, God is Allah created, I mean, is, okay. Is you see, not? okay. Just uh, I will go with you, so, guys. Just listen carefully what our friend here, Mr. Rob, said. Allah khalaqa kulli shay, and he said, "Does that mean Allah created everything?" Because he said, "Allah created everything," but look what you just said. You just confess now that your God, Allah, is a thing. <laughs> yeah, Allah is a thing. Are you saying he's nothing? No, no. Are you saying Allah is a thing? No, no, no. Listen, dude. Listen, as a Christian, you believe God created everything. Is God a thing? Listen, or is listen. He no, you, you, as a Muslim, you are, you, no, you're a Muslim. You're a Muslim. You said Allah. <laughs> yeah, I you did not say Allah God. You said Allah. Said Allah created everything. Allah. Does that mean Allah created himself? But you, by, by saying that. That's a question for you, my friend. Listen, no, no, you're a Christian. A you, you, use, you, use the word Allah. you use the word Allah. Yeah, dude, it doesn't okay. matter. Okay, right? so is Allah is a, so is Allah is a thing? Is Allah is a thing? Yes, Allah is a thing. Do you believe Allah? So that means He's created. <laughs> well, He's a thing. Okay, because so it's got a thing. It's okay, hold on. If you are booking, no, 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 no. Habib friend, said God, it's right? you who said Allah is a thing, and when the Quran says Allah created everything. That mean he created Allah too, because Allah is one yeah, of those Allah things. Yeah, Allah created Allah too. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, is it, isn't it? There's a hadith that says that Allah created Himself from the sweat of the horses. No, that's a mawdu hadith as far as I, I know. But I either way, yeah, anything is embarrassing. Said. Anything is embarrassing. It yeah, is mawdu. It is uh, okay. Mawdu. No you're right, problem. You're right. Okay, let's go back yeah, here. Right, Let us focus right. on here. You know, al al hadith you, doesn't exist. Al al rijal is bullshit. My right, friend, right, yeah. my friend, al al hadith does not exist because Muslims they play games. As an example, I can find you one hadith is mentioned by a thousand scholar it is sahih and then the guy he come and he says it's not sahih so you play with it you know as much you want yeah yeah exactly it's, okay. it's a game so it's, it's a, a, it's a, it's a game you know? thank you very much so but here in the quran we have a quran and now what you want to do it says it clearly that allah he says one of you can fight 10 and if allah he yeah, may, dude, if allah listen, is god if Bibi, allah when it comes to understanding uh, the quran you look at the earliest tafsir right that's how you have epistemic knowledge of how Muslims understood that verse in its historical context, right? Okay. If I take a verse in the Bible and I say, for example, you know, 
uh, you know, God is stupid. He says X and Y, you know. He, may, he said make a poop sandwich in Ezekiel or blah, 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 right? You know, you will say, oh, my, no, my friend, the Bible does not say that. The Bible does not say that. Blah, no, blah, blah, blah. no yeah, the, Bible, the, the, the Bible says that they are going to be cursed. They will be suffering and they will go through a mm. horrible time. This is not about God making them eat. This is you will struggle. You will eat from anything. You will. Yeah, yeah. OK, OK. So now yeah. you're deviating from. So the, the verse is so clear I there. Mean, the verse, but here, but here, but my friend, you are trying to I mean, avoid the question. One can no, my fight friend, that's ten. Not avoiding the question. That's One can fight the ten. There's no need that. for interpretation. Exactly. So there is no need for interpretation. One can fight ten, either yes or no. And then when Allah He says, and you speak mm, yeah. Arabic, and now and you speak Arabic, it says Al Ana Khafaf Allahu Ankum. Al Ana Khafaf Allahu. Wa Alima, Alima, Wa Alima. Do you know what Alima mean? Yeah, Alima. Yeah. And okay. Yes, when, when, he, when he when he no, when he when he found out, now he found out. Yeah, but I have to question um, what you mean by in relativeness, okay? Because when Allah has absolute knowledge, right? And he's talking about, for example, Anzal al-Quran al-Muhdath, right? What does Muhdath mean? Muhdath means it is new relative to you. So the revelation is new relative to you, O Muhammad. For example, <laughs> let's say Moses. Yeah, Habib, CP, CP, CP. All right. Go with my example. I'm Let's listening, I'm right. listening. Tayyip, tayyip. Okay. So, for example, when God revealed the um, Ten Commandments to uh, Moses on Mount Sinai, as you believe, right? Is this uh, revelation muhdath or is it, was it eternal? Is it relatively new to Moses or is it eternal with Allah? Eternal absolute knowledge with God, I mean, because you don't believe Allah is God. What does have to Allah, do with see? this? What does no, have no, to do no, with no, this? No, 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 Habibi, Habibi, answer the question. Okay. Is the so, revelation to Musa eternal or relative to Musa? Tafadl. I'm not God. I don't know. You see, God, he, he, <laughs> he might, uh, no, let me, let me, let me answer you. Maybe, maybe, maybe God, he decided at this time. Now he decided to say this. The, uh, God do not uh, need, listen, listen, you are being silly now. I'm not insulting you. Habibi, you are, you are saying, you are saying that God, before he talked, uh, listen, listen. Book, so God, uh, listen, listen. You are saying to me that your God is very silly. He cannot speak to yeah, Moses yeah, yeah, yeah. in the moment, and he cannot. Yeah, my come. God is still Hold on, my God. Uh, let, me, let, me, let, me let me finish my topic. Let me finish my topic. Okay. So you, you are saying to me that God, before He spoke to Moses, He thought about it ten million years, and then He wrote it in a book, and then Moses now is created ten million years after, and now uh, God He opened His book. He says, "Oh, I said uh, ten thousand years." This is this is this is a this is a this is a silly argument work only in Islam this way this way you must maybe believe there's a tablet and Allah he yeah. wrote everything in the tablet and now Allah read it from the tablet so he can tell Moses what he wrote in the tablet because he's not God my God he do not need a tablet he can come with a command now there's a command God he's saying now have nothing to do with being eternal or not the command now given to Moses so I wasn't with God to say maybe he, he decided before but what I know that God said to Moses, I do not know that God thought about saying to Moses 10 billion years ago, you are fabricating things about God because your God is not able to make a conditions or a command in the moment. He have to think about it. He have to write it down. He have a notebook. It's called a tablet. And he put the tablet between the two eyes of the angel Israfil. And why? Because he don't want anyone to read from that tablet. Is that correct? Hello? What happened? He's gone. Where do you go? Where, where? Yeah, uh, CP, one of your admins, he uh, removed uh, uh, you. Uh, because you are making no, you are making some, making now noise, but like you know, let us speak in a mature way. So, uh, uh, yeah, it, listen, CP, uh, okay. I'm speaking in a mature okay. way. But you see, you see, what you said goes for you. What you, what, what you said goes for you, not for me. Because it is your God who wrote everything in a book, and not only He, He He created a pen and He told the pen to write everything. Is that correct? Yeah, CP, but you know you're avoiding the theological question. If you want to jump to like hadith to hadith to I, uh, no, topic to topic, you can do that. No, you, you are not answering. Yeah, I'm a busy man. Does it say? Does it say? Does it say in Arabic? Yeah. Wa alima. Tell tell the audience. Yeah, this is wa alima. Did the, I ever deny correct that? CP, CP, you, I read to you, Habibi. Every CP, you're streaming on Rumble. Am I correct? Correct. Okay. Okay. So everyone can go back to the stream. And hear what I said, right? I said, Walim, I recited the verse to you. What right? Alima, what alima mean? Translate for me the word Alima. And he knew, very simple. In the past, right? Uh, yes, but it's relative. 
Okay, but Alima now. Well, Anna Alima, not in the past now. Now, now. No, you said it in the past. If you okay, no, no, in the, in the past, and there is and there is the word. Okay, and there is the word. This is the past. It's in the and it's in the past in the time of Muhammad, not now. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so in the time of Muhammad, does it does it say? Okay, listen, my friend. Does it say Al An? What Al-An mean? Al-An means now, but I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so uh, Allah, it, now, it now about. Allah, now Allah, He enlightened and He knows, He found out. So Allah now, He enlightened your task and now He, now He found out that you have a weakness. Do Allah knew that they have a weakness from before or now He found out? Um, as I said, it's relative, so that's irrelevant. No, no, it's, it's not. Relevant. It's not because if he, I mean, it, 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 they went back, they came back. Muhammad, he told Whatever them this. So listen, listen. <laughs> so if Allah, he knew that they have a weakness, do he know it in the morning or afternoon? So we go in the he knows morning. It in his eternal knowledge, but what's actualized friend, is the actual. What kind of eternal or, knowledge or, change right. in the morning and the afternoon? So I go, to, I go to no, war. I go to war. They beat me <laughs> up. I lied. I lied to them. Listen, CB, why are you getting agitated? I lied. I lied to my audience when I said to them, "I'm a prophet. One, one of you can fight ten. They went there. They lost. They came back. I say, okay, now Allah, He knew that you have a weakness." And he oh, light in your task. So this is a clear <laughs> evidence that Muhammad do not know and his God do not know the future. The answer uh, the question is very simple, right? So do you know what eternal means? Because I asked you like four times, but you interrupted me. And uh, it's pretty funny because you're dodging the what question. What eternal? Yeah. What does eternal mean? Forever. Whatever ever mean. Forever in the past or forever in the future or both? Uh, whatever. Uh, for, forever, as I know, when you say you will live for eternity, you have to have a point of a story. No, no. For CP, I didn't say everlasting. I said eternity. There's a difference between everlasting and eternity, right? What does eternal mean? Forever in the past and future, or both? Eternal is a is a time. Uh, always, it's about. Eternal is it's not about, a time. CP. It's, it's, re is not a it's time. relative to a person. Relative to the person. No, no, no. CP, CP, CP. Eternity is not a time. Do you think eternity is a time? Is there a time called you know, eternity? Okay. Uh, I'm you Muslims, you believe that Allah Himself is a time. Isn't it true? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you're laughing. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Allah. Aren't you Muslims? Aren't you Muslims believe that Allah is the time? Uh, CP, can you send me the book Sex and Allah? It's a very good book. Is, is it true? To... Why are you trying to change the topic? Is it true that your God I'm Allah? Is it it's true? Just... Let, 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 you see, you laugh at me when I no, said to you about the time. No, and you said to me, eternity is not a time when you Muslims and your yeah, prophet, eternity he says. Is not a time. Yes, that's you, correct. Huh? Eternity is not a time. I so already is, said this. Is Allah is, is Allah is Allah is eternal or not? Yes, he is eternal. His essence is eternal. Is he the time? Is he course. the time or not? Is he the time? No, eternity is not a time. No, no. Is Allah is the time? Allah is the time. You mean the hadith where he says uh, in Allah dahr? Is that what you're talking about? I'm asking you. Is Allah the time? Allah is not the time itself as a concept. It is uh, when it refers to in Allah dahr, it means that the dahr is between Allah. Right? That's so false. That's false. It says Allah is the time. Doesn't say yeah, exactly. it's mean. But that's referring to the concept of time, right? So you know, when you to look at the sky, there's the sun, the moon, the alteration of time. Uh, when someone looks at that, right, and he says God controls it, right? So the this is, is not about, about God control. control. My friend, you see, you see how you Muslims you fabricate yeah, things. Yeah, CP, I'm trying to do sharh for the hadith. is a very basic lesson. Yani. I'm listen, your listen, listen. To say hi, okay. Sheikh, okay? My name is Sheikh Rob. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, uh, don't curse uh, uh, the time for the time exactly. is Allah. All right. Okay, so if Allah is the time, then how Allah is not a created? Well, because time is not a creation, it's a concept. Time is not a creation, it's a created. No, it's not a creation. There's no tangible thing called time. Can okay, so time why is? Allah, He says, one day for Allah is equal to 1,000 years for you? Yeah, this is relative uh, absolute. Time. It's called Newtonian absolute okay, so time. Okay, so it's relative. Time. It's relative to Allah. That means Allah have time, correct? Is it? Is it a metaphorical thing or yeah, it's, it's, it's real? Time is a concept. For example, when Allah says He created the heavens and the earth in six days, and you even have uh, you know God creating the heavens and the earth in six days, doesn't necessarily mean twenty-four hour days, or is the time 
depending on the taqdeer that he has in that uh, in that eternal sense. So you, we, I mean, we, we, we are of, moving uh, too fast from topic to topic. So now we will go and speak about 24 no, hours. Time. The yeah, this it is, is 24. Topic, yes, it's right? 24 hours. Yes, it's, it's yes CP, it is. CP, 20, CP, yes, CP, it is 20. Listen, 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 listen. Child porn, child porn, child porn, CP. What, what, what you say? What you say? What you say? I said your name is CP. It means child porn, Habibi. Uh, you, you should are, know this. Do you want me to insult your prophet? Am I insulting my prophet? You, you, yani, do, you want, do you want me to insult your prophet? You're insulting me. How are you asking me to insult your prophet? You know, are you I asking me? Here are you in the corner? Channel. That's why you're trying insulting me now. A CP is a child porn. Okay, let's talk about porn. Well, Muhammad is what? Is the moderate uh, uh, a porn master. Your prophet is the one who described the vagina of the women for you. See how you know if, if it, listen, listen. So now you start insulting me. I was speaking to you. I was speaking to you nice. And now, because you are in the corner, you can't answer. Your God, Allah, is the time. And your prophet says, Allah is the time. Same time, you said to me that Allah, when he says 1,000 years, is not is uh, uh, one day for Allah equal to 1,000 years, is not 24 hours. So your prophet was a liar. Because your God, Allah, Muhammad, he said, when Allah, he created the, the earth and the heaven, he created the, the, the dust in Saturday. Was that the day no, for Allah? No, this is. Um, I think this is what you're talking about. Is Hadith al-Turba, right? Uh -huh. uh, Hadith al-Turba. Uh -huh. Yeah, Hadith al-Turba so, has been weak by Bukhari himself, my friend. It's attributed to Kaab, but not Muhammad. So it is. It is weak now. Yeah, because the Kaab al-Ahbar. I mean, that's Bukhari said. <laughs> okay, yeah. but this is in Sahih Muslim, first of all. So yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you that. So, uh, so listen. So, so listen. Uh, listen. So uh, you must no, listen, look, look. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You see. So now, because I am found your reference from your prophet <laughs> in a Sahih Hadith, and now you make it weak. It's called Sahih Muslim. And yeah, then you say to me, and the, and, yeah, exactly. In in the Muslim, when the Muslim they say authentic book doesn't mean authentic because Muslim they lie. So now because this hadith yeah, to prove so that you are prove, prove that you see you, well, you're a prophet. A okay, so so when when the when the author he put this hadith in the, in the authentic this, book. Speak, 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 listen, listen. Okay, hold on, hold can, on. Is it is the hadith? Is the is the hadith? Go to Google right now. Go to Google. Go to Google. Adam, Mr. Google, listen, is the hadith about your God when he created Adam? Adam, he told yes, him, finish me before the sun. Uh, uh, Adam, he told him, uh, Adam, he told him, listen, listen. Adam, he told Allah, finish me before the sun set. Is that a true hadith or fake hadith? Okay, okay. To answer this question, everybody, go to Google, type Sahat Hadith al turba Yalla, go ahead and tell me. Hey, Yalla, I have it in front of me. It says Sahih. I have it in front of me. It says in Sahih Muslim, oh, and you are saying uh, to me it's not Sahih. Okay, guys, guys, if you're watching Christian Prince right now, <laughs> go answer. Go type Hadith al turba Go type Hadith al turba See if this guy is lying to you or not. Very simple. Uh, well, uh, who is the one who is saying it's not Sahih? Abdul, like you? Uh, no, Bukhari and a lot of Muhaddithin Al Bukhari, he said this is not Sahih. Al Bukhari, he said this is not Sahih. Yeah, he didn't. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, can, can you show us? Yeah, I can show you. There you All go. Right, I'll go give ahead. you the. Do you want the source? Okay, go ahead. Okay, there you go. I'll give it to you. Hadith al Turba. Uh huh. There you go. Mm hmm. Where do you want me to send it to you? Yalla, minatari. No, just video. type the hadith for me. The one it says is daif, and I will, I will search okay, it. There you go. Oh. Here's uh, Islam QA. There's a lot of hadith. See, I can send you all the hadith independently in the sources, but I can just send you the thing. No problem. You are giving me what Islam a question and answer. You, you did not give me Al Bukhari. You did not give me Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari is there, yeah. No, 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 my friend. Give me Al Bukhari. Give me Al Bukhari. Give me Al Bukhari. Give me Al Bukhari. Okay, here. I'll give you Al Bukhari. Give no me Al Bukhari. Problem. Okay. Okay. This website, sunnah.com, have al-Bukhari. Give me the hadith it says from al-Bukhari in sunnah.com. It says this hadith is da'if. Don't tell me qala al-imam al-Bukhari. Show me the book of al-Bukhari. Say yeah, what you are yeah. saying. Volume 1, page 413. Go, go ahead. No, no, give me, give me, give me. Give me the, give me the. I got it, I got it there. Where is it? Here. Where? Where you are, where you are giving me the, oh, okay, hold on. Ah. All right. All right. Ah, Lord have mercy. Let us see. Where is the book? 
You see what you're just giving me? You, you know, you Muslims are like it. It says here, an Abu Huraira, etc. I opened the page you gave me, and here it says, Tadif al Hadith, etc. Al Bukhari. Where? Okay, where Al Bukhari? He said, nobody. I don't see it. Are you there? Where is the book of Al Bukhari? Same here. It says it is Sahih according Imam Muslim Ibn Habban Ibn Al Arabi Al Anwar Al Kashafa Al Shaykh Al Alabani. All of those they say this is Sahih from the website you gave me. So look at this mad religion. The same stupid hadith. When they want, it is authentic. When they want, it's not authentic. The same website. The same website, they will say to you, some they say it is authentic and some they say it's not authentic. <laughs> and this is why we Christian we laugh at this religion who they are not sure what is authentic and what is authentic. And then they say to us that Islam is a preserved. Because how that is a preservation for Islam if the most important teaching of Muhammad about how Allah created the earth and the heaven can be wrong and false and can be true and it can be wrong in the same time. Either it's authentic or it's not. Same time Muhammad he says, my nation will not agree upon something is invalid. So how the majority agree upon it? Isn't it, this is your book? And this is the website you gave me? Al-Alabani, he approve it. Ibn al-Arabi, he approve it. Sahih Muslim, he approve it. All those books, and this is the website, you are the one who gave it to us. This is why we laugh at Muhammad. And here you notice always, anything will make a statement, or, or the second we see an, like an embarrassment statement from Muhammad, the Muslim in, in the speed of light, they deny it. This way, they cannot, you cannot give them any proof, you know, of anything. Because one he will say to you, it is accepted. The other one he will say to you is not accepted because Islam is messed up religion. But who care what you say? What I have in front of me, it says Sahih. And even the website you gave me, those are the major scars of Islam. They are saying Sahih. So this God, those Muslims are confused. Is day for Allah equal to 1000 year or it's equal to Saturday? Is it equal to 1,000 year or it's equal to Sunday? And not only that, if you read the Hadith carefully, you will see how stupid Muhammad is. Because what he just mentioned, in the Quran he says, Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. But if you count here, the days he mentioned, you will notice that he start from Saturday, if you read with me carefully. This is Saturday. And then what is the last day? He finished the creation Friday. This is seven days. But in the Quran it says, Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. He created the earth and the heaven and what is between them in six days. If we calculate it from Saturday to Friday, this is seven days and not only Friday, Friday afternoon. Not only Friday. Friday afternoon and Allah uh, Adam he spoke to Allah he says finish me before the sunset O Allah and this is an Ibn Kathir and this is a Tahir Hadith when I ask him when, when Adam he said oh finish me O Allah before the sunset he refused to answer When we speak about Allah or commanding the Muslim to fight one to ten, he said, this is relative. Who care if Allah is God and he says one person, you will fight a billion. You will win. Because if God is with me, who could be against me? You are not going to win because of your power. But obviously, the Quran is proving to us that this is a shish kebab hummus. Muhammad, actually Muhammad, he saw a vision and he told them before they go to war that the number of the enemy will be little. And this guy, if he call me back, 
he will he will quote the hadith for us which will make muhammad look so stupid he told them tomorrow when you go you will find a few to fight you they went there they found a big number and they came to him back to him and he says hey you told us there's there's going to be few <laughs> So everything he say, it turned to be wrong. He claimed to be a prophet, and now he's trying to fix it. Why Allah need to fix this if this is in the beginning written in the book of, of destiny? In the book of destiny, Allah, billion years ago, he wrote that one of you can fight 10, 100 can fight 1,000. Then in the book of destiny, few hours after, Allah, he wrote again, now Allah, he found a weakness for you, so he enlightened your task. <laughs> that is hilarious. And how they explain that? They said to you, this is relative. This is what? This is relative. What relative? And the second you make them upset, they start saying to you, CP, does that mean it's child porn? Look who is talking about child porn. Their prophet, he have sex with a child, and the coward, he dared to call me child porn. I mean, aren't you even, aren't you ashamed even to open such a topic? Let us talk to the child porn then, as long as you mention this topic, trying to insult me. You brought insult to your prophet. When Jabir was coming home, Muhammad he asked Jabir, Hey Jabir, did you, why you are in rush? Huh? Uh, he says, I got married. I said, good, get married. Ah. Did you get married for uh, from a child? So she can, she can play with you and you can play with her, Mr. Child Porn? Mr. Child Porn, do you hear me? Jariya to la'ibuha? Hmm? Your prophet is encouraging a man who is growing man. He just came with him from the fight, from the war, to go and fight a child. And then the guy, he says to him, well, you know what? Uh, you know, uh, my father, he died and he left me seven childrens. You know, they are orphans, so I choose to marry a woman instead of marrying a child like them. Correct? And look here, by the way, there is something very funny. Maybe Mr. Uh, Terror, he can join us if he did not run away. Here you see that Muhammad, he warned Muslim that no Muslim can back home. No Muslim can come back home unless at night. He have to send somebody before the night and he don't go there. He tell his wife that I am coming home. They ask a sheikh his name, Al-Qaradawi. Why he is doing that? Why? What is the point? He said, well, what if you came home and you find your wife, she have a boyfriend? Imagine you are coming home to town. You are not allowed at night. You are not allowed to go to the house, your house. The excuse of Muhammad, it says, read with me carefully. Uh, then when we arrived, we were about to enter, he said, wait so that you we may enter by night, i.e. the evening, in order that the women with this disheveled this, this hair, 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 uh, hair may come uh, and uh, compet and the women those husband has been way away uh, may get herself ready for the husband enjoyment. It's a false excuse. And all the Muslim cleric agree that the reason for that, you don't want to go home and your wife should not know suddenly, she know that you are out of town and now you come back home, you open the door, you find a boyfriend with her. And what is the excuse? So she can comp her private part. Have you ever heard of a prophet like this before?
And the same for the story of Mr. Jabir. Jabir, he have a bunch of orphans in his house and Muhammad was encouraging him to have a child as a wife. And this guy, he called me, he said uh, CP porn. Uh, uh, CP mean uh, 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 child porn. You are very creative, my friend, but thank you for your insulting your prophet. Join us back if you dare. You are just a potato. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Speak normally, please, if you want to join us. There's no need to make those sounds. Go ahead. If I do, you will run like a little coward. Uh, this is Ultimate Fart. Hey, Ultimate Fart, how are yeah. you doing? How are you doing, Mr. Ultimate Fart? You are the one who says to me that you said the effort you profit. What I want more from you. I mean, you are the best insulted, the person who insulted Muhammad. Are you, are you just trying to find a way to run away? No, run but, but is it, is it true? Is it true? You said the F word, your prophet? I said the F word to you. You know no, what I did? You are giving me example. example Don't use bad language. Listen, brother. if you want, if you want, if you want me, you see, I'm going, I'm going to let you speak as an entertainment. You're losing it. You see, I will let you speak as an entertainment. But if you use a bad language, okay, but control yourself, though. if you use look a bad you. language, I will block you. So I am not going to use a bad language. You just already you did. But look at already you. you did. Already you did. You are no, filthy. You're, I never, I said, Filthy, what did I say? I heard you saying the filthy word. I'm not going to say it again. No, I never said a word. Okay, go ahead. Why, I you, never said why you are calling me? I'm calling you to debunk your lies. you be running away from about me. What? About what? About man up for one time, list anything, bring any subject, and I whoop you with it. Let us go back to zero. Anything. You are the one who said you don't believe in hadith, correct? Yes, sir. All right. I told you before what is the name of your prophet, what you told me? The name of my prophet, Muhammad. What is his father's name? I don't care. His name is, I don't care? I don't care about any names. Okay. Why would I care? Okay, how, so how you know who is Muhammad? Is he going to take me to Jannah? Okay. Is he going to take hold me to Jannah? On, on. No, yes, he will go. He, he will take you to Jannah. Isn't it your prophet he is going to intercede for no. you? Isn't it, your said, isn't it your prophet he's going to intercede for you? No. Who's, You're a liar. Who's going show to, me the verse. Okay, hold on. Who is going to intercede for you? I said, show me the verse where the prophet is going to be interceding. I, I said, who is going to intercede for you? I said, Allah said, on the day of resurrection, uh -huh. he will choose some people that mm -hmm. could be able, be able to intercede for another group that he'll be choosing. He will be choosing the intercessors who is her, and he'll be choosing he, 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 will, he will choose bro, who? He will choose who? What are you losing it for? He will Don't choose it, bro. He will choose who? Come through yourself, bro. Please. Who is who is going to yes, listen? You said Allah in the day of judgment, he will choose some people to intercede for you. Why? Why? You go ask Allah, but you understand. No, no, some no, no. I, you see, you, must have, you claim you are monotheist. Can I answer your question? You claim, now? you claim, you know, you, 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 ask, you answer me already. You, you, said, well, you, you said, you said, ask Allah. You answer me already. So I'm asking you, if you are a monotheist, if you are a monotheist, if you are a monotheist, I will give you a reasonable answer. Okay. I will give if you, you are, a, a reasonable answer. You, you answer Bro, me already. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? You see your bells already. Don't use bad language. But, but so then don't use bad language civilized. listen listen okay listen and you be civilized so you said allah will choose some people why you said to me ask allah now but i can give you i said that's a question that you should be if uh, the why it is in the quran now the why uh -huh. you don't ask somebody as why you say hey there's a car accident Okay, it. but is it? Why? But is it? What, what does have to do with car accident? What does have to do with car accident? I'm asking you. If you must believe, if you, if you must in, believe you in monotheism, brain. if you believe in monotheism, you do not need a middleman. But now you just said that you believe that Allah will choose somebody to intercede for you. Who is the middleman who will intercede between I you and God? Even, I couldn't even say what I what I had to say. You, you said that already. Enough. You said already. You not, no, you I said only said already. one part. I said, listen uh, to you, listen, uh, listen, you're losing it. Uh, I only said, he will choose one group which can uh, intercede, but he's going to choose another group. He will choose now the people that are supposed to be going to hell. He will hold some of them. This, you can only intercede. This, only those can intercede, and they can only intercede for these. Intercede for who? 
one. Your father might not be in there. Your, your father might be in hell. Well, intercede to who? You are giving me. You are giving me a statement. You did not give me the let's answer. Go, let's go to the Quran. Who is, I got proof. Who is the let's one? Go to the Quran. They will intercede to who? What do you mean they said to who? They will intercede are to who? You said to me they will intercede to a group. Who are they? Those group. Allah will choose that group on that day. So what? Is, what do you mean? So why Allah will choose a group to intercede for other group? What does that mean? It means simple. Give There's me the some good, beautiful. Uh, let, let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. What are you afraid of, CP? <laughs> I told you he was the man, the big man yeah, of Christianity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't make it drama. You see, you are a kid. Each time I, I, each time I say something to you, you say that. No, don't act like a kid. Don't act like a kid. Just give look, me the answer. Look, look, Just give me the answer. Me okay. So, so listen. So, who is the group who will intercede to the other group? Go ahead. Who is? Don't ask me a question. Who is the group who will intercede to the other group? Allah said. There is uh, those that Allah called al muqarrabun They have worshipped Allah to the point that they deserve, they, they, they have been recognized. Those are close people to Allah. If okay. you're among those, maybe Allah will choose what, among what, them. Listen, what they will do? Let me land. Let me land what they will do? Be a man. Be a man. We are, it's not we a sentence. A, yes. You see, listen, it's I, a comma. I, have no, no. I have no time to chat this problem. talk. You we are having a conversation. Shut up, you, shut up, you donkey. Okay. Listen. Either you speak like a man, yeah, or now you're you calling them. So now I'm huh? asking you, I'm asking you. Now you're calling they them. Will huh? intercede, you will intercede to who? Give me the answer. How come they can intercede to somebody? I am giving you an answer. Okay, to who? I have a comma. All right. When I say yesterday, when yeah. I was doing this, boom, you cut me off. Let me finish. They will intercede At least you to who? Don't, don't give me a speech. They will intercede to who? You're your pants, TP. You're the, your pants the, right the, now. Listen. You know, they, they will you intercede, right now, Mr. Mr. You, you, wanna, don't, you don't, you even, have a, you don't even have a pen. You remember when you, you opened your camera for me? You open your camera you. for me. Your wall is a wall of a donkey. Even a, even a pig, they will not live in such a room. Yeah. So now listen to me. Give me the answer. Those group of people, thing? they will they will intercede to who? You go what? around, you will not answer. Who will intercede to who? And how come they can intercede? They are close to Allah. What does that mean? All human beings are sinners. So if you believe in monotheism and you say only Allah, a shafa for, for Allah only. So how you say to me there's a group will intercede? Is it all to Allah or for a group? Allah said only to Allah except to those that whom I permitted to give it to. Why why you cutting the verse, dummy? Listen. Listen, listen, but they do with the Bible listen, that they want to do with the Quran. Open chapter 39. Are you doing with the Quran? Open chapter 39, verse number 40, and people would die laughing at you. Okay, well, open. Hey, hey okay, call your verse. I call my verse. All it's right. not complicated. Okay, go ahead. It, it, read it. Who, okay, read it. Who they're going to laugh to? Read it. Okay. No, you read your verse. I'm okay. not reading your verse for you, CP. What? CP, right now you just have to figure you, out you how claim, to run. You claim you know if you it. run, <laughs> if you run, Listen, you, you got one here we go. The verse says, all, you all the, the intercession belong to Allah. Here we go. Chapter 39, uh -huh. verse number 44. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Of course, all belongs to him. And he give it to him, he will. You're going to read that uh -huh. verse. You? So the authority. Uh -huh. okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So your God, he intercede to who? Hey, listen, God. listen, guys. Allah, he intercede. Okay, Allah intercede to who? That means Allah have a God. No, he does Allah intercede upper ease to Allah. It's what? what he intercedes. Allah he to intercede him. to Allah? No, he said all intercession is for me. I am the owner of the intercession. And I give oh, it to whoever I want. But, I, slow, but that mean what? That means he, inter mean he intercede for you? No, is upper chant. <laughs> no. Lead. Do, do you understand English? Okay. So My, now, so I'm now, not okay, so now I'm you are saying English class. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, listen, listen. All right, listen, listen. I'm not gonna give you Allah, an English class. When Allah class. he intercede, when Allah he uh, intercede. Uh, I said, am I going to give you an English an English class in front of 155 Christians? Listen, all intercession is to Allah. He owns it. How he now? Own, he how, give how, it how he own it? How, how he own it? Oh, Hold on. Up, okay, listen, listen. You're if, your fans either, right now. Either That's Allah, what I do. Either Allah is the only one who can judge, and there is no need for I intercession. Said, either there is no need for intercession. Are you saying to me in Islam? I said, are you saying to me in Islam there is a middleman between God and man? I said, just read chapter 20, verse 109. I, I, just, I just gave you one. It says all intercession belongs to Allah. I said, read chapter 20, verse 109, brother. I dare you. 214? Because I... To what? To what? To what? 
chapter 20, uh -huh. verse 109. Okay. I dare you. Don't. Okay. The, Don't. The day there is no intercession. I'm you, the day there is no intercession will be accepted. I said, uh -huh. read chapter 20, yeah, verse this, 109. This is, this is about the one he allowed, correct? Okay. okay. All right. Since you're, since you're not going to read it, okay. Since, let me do since it. you are going to read it, so Allah read the verse. Listen, I read listen. It or not? So Allah will allow are intercession. Allah you will allow lie? intercession for I said, are listen, you listen, read listen, the verse? listen. So Allah will allow intercession for such a certain group. Is Muhammad? On that day, is, is Muhammad? On that day, intercession will be useless is except for is those Muhammad, who will be by the most is Muhammad, righteous and those utterances from His will. You remember, you idiot, when you called me. I said, I said, I said. Read the verse. I said to That's you, how shut up. Let, we can't talk in You want me? Shut up. You me, shut up. Let me read the verse. Let me talk. Hold on. I said to hey, you, is your prophet, is your prophet going to see it for you? You said, no. Now you, you, you said to me, yes. Who is the one? Chapter 10, verse 3. Chapter 10, verse 3. Who is the one who will intercede in this verse? I said, Allah said, on the day of resurrection, if you read the verse, chapter 10, verse verse 3. Uh -huh. According to your will, the intercession will be only allowed to suffer some people. Who? The, and the, only, honest, the innocent? They can only benefit. Let, let me lend. Let me lend. The Christian prince, why are you shitting your Shut parents? Shut up. Right? You said the innocent. What innocent? Huh? Listen. Re let's read it first. Let me read it. Okay? What innocent? What innocent? What, on, what, on, what, on what is the word coming from? What? You said innocent. I said in a session. In a session. Uh, okay. Then, All right. So, but uh, you know, you are not listening. You are shouting. I said to you, who is the one is going I'm to be allowed? You say, you, let me speak. In the beginning, I'm trying to you, you see, you I, see I'm how, trying to you I see how this argument started. I can speak over you, you but are, I don't want to do that. You are a child. I said to you, you are a prophet with intercession. Who is the child that you, you, I say since you, I get here, you're stealing you, your pants right you are now. A prophet you feel like hanging up. Shut up. You can't hang up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You're a prophet will intercede huh? for you. you I'm going to whoop you, you, hey, you, said, you see you him? Said to me, Shame on you. You said to me, no. Shame on you, You said speak. to me, no. Potato. Shame on so you. you did lie. You did lie when you refused. Can I have one minute, you, one minute? Shut up, Listen. coward. Listen. You said to me, your take three minutes, will give not me one minute. intercede to you. Your prophet will not intercede. Can you intercede. take three minutes and you, give me one minute? You said your prophet will not intercede. Can you take now three you minutes to and me, give me one minute? Now you are saying to me, your prophet will intercede. So why you argue about it if you agree at the I end? never said the prophet. I said no first said the prophet. Uh, Allah says, so who is the best of the Muslims? So who is I the best of the Muslims? So who is the best of the Muslims? Who is the who is the best of who is the best of the Muslims? The best we, we don't know. It could be Abraham. It could be Moses. So it, it could be uh, Jesus. I don't know. Ah, so okay, let us see. Ah, this is true. Hold on. Wake up, no, baby. no, 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 no. Here, see, you see, you are stupid because I don't the, know. because the Quran says that Allah, He believe or He say that Muhammad is the best of mankind. The Quran never said that. Are you sure? I'm one thousand percent. Bring your lie. Okay, I, you, I are, you are in this uh, Discord. If we show that in the screen, are you willing to open your camera and dance? I said, yeah, of course. Uh, I tried to open my camera. He said, it says since there's a more than hundred, uh, more than fifty people, I cannot open my camera. Ah, uh, okay, thank I God. Tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I, I even didn't know that. He gave me a message since there are more than fifty people, you cannot uh, have your camera on. All right. That's what he says. So, so just show me the view side. You got there is a verse in the Quran that says that Muhammad is the best of creation. You heard that. Guys, oh, all right. You heard that? And That's you, what he said, right? Go for And you are. Did he say oh, that? Oh, yes or no? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, Don't oh. run now. Okay, okay. Don't run. Tell okay. me. I whoop the hell out of you. Don't run. <laughs> Did he say that? Yes or no? <laughs> Okay. You said there is a verse listen, in the Quran listen, that says listen, that listen, is a listen, prayer. listen, listen. Did you say that Did yes they, or no? I said that and I will show it to you. I said, if, show I, me. if, show I, show, me. if I show that Muhammad is even equal to Allah, what you will do? I said, uh -huh. your challenge is, I will show you a verse where Allah says Muhammad is the best of creation. I'm waiting for For Allah. sure, he's equal to him. Isn't it the Quran says Muhammad? I said, is, <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it the Quran says Muhammad?